to today's daily dose of Amuna. What greatness! Reb Nassan Zatzal, the foremost disciple of Rebbe Nachman, describes the greatness of Hit Bodidut. Try to picture the high priest, he quotes, as he entered the Holy of Holies at the one time of year that was permitted, Yom Kippur. In describing his appearance, the high priest looked like, quote, one who sits in solitude to pray before Hashem, end quote. Imagine, says Reb Nassim, the high priest entering the Holy of Holies is likened to the person who sits and pour out his heart before Hashem. Through Hit Bodedut, we can, as it were, enter the Holy of Holies each and every day. In particular, in particular, during those times when we are in pain and feel alienated, we should return to the warmth of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When our hearts are filled with, when our hearts are most bitter and confused, we're in the position to be closest to Hashem. Karov Hashem l'nishbarei lev. Hashem is near those with broken hearts, writes David HaMelech in Tehillim. It's precisely when our spirits are crushed and filled with sorrow that we receive comfort and insight as it responds to our crying out for our specific needs. This is the consoling path of Hit Bodidut and Tshuva. It is simple to enter this pathway. Go to a place where you will not be disturbed, talk in your own language and in your own words, and just pour your heart out one-on-one, -on -one, just you and Bore HaOlam. This is the path of tzaddikim. This is our path to tshuva. This world is filled with illusions, and the most real to us is the idea that Hashem is far from us. Hit Bodedut breaks this false, this false impression. Hashem is here and wants us to come back. The Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh teaches, Hit Bodedut causes us to wipe away those illusions and see the hidden truth of life. How close it really is. Have a wonderful, amuna-filled day.